about it. Um, it's a great question. So I think the main thing that we want to do, uh, especially as teenagers and as young adults, the, the main priority needs to be not to have uh, bad credit, right? So you can have bad credit, you can have no credit, or you can have good credit. Um, and at the, at the end of the day, I'd rather have no credit than have bad credit. So that's the first step, right? And I think to do that, uh, we just don't get ourselves into debt, quite frankly, right? We don't spend more money uh, than what we have, whether that is uh, credit cards, whether that is uh, student loans, whatever it may be. We want to be smart uh, with the way that we go about using the money that we have. Now, that being said, uh, there are certain areas that are what we consider good credit. Uh, and I mentioned student loans. That is one of them. There's such thing as uh, bad debt and good debt. Uh, I mentioned student loans. That can be good debt, right? And what I mean by that is it's an investment. It's helping you uh, to advance further in life. And oftentimes we can get it for very, very cheap. So as we're establishing credit, we will have to have some debt, but it's things that we want to uh, be able to pay off. So th these are the these are the three uh, biggest ways that I would say to build your to build your credit. One um, is to make sure that you're paying your bills on time. Uh, it seems very very simple, uh, and it is, but we just have to make sure that we stay on top of it. So pay your bills on time. Number two is once you have a stable job, um, you want to find a credit card with the least amount of fees and the least amount of interest possible. And with that, a great way to establish credit is to just pay for something very simple and very small. So uh, I typically recommend paying for gas if you have a car um, or something just every, uh, every couple weeks that you're going to be able to pay for it and pay it off at the end of the month. Uh, that's going to be a great way to establish credit as well. And then the last piece is something that you can't do overnight, and I think that's a great point. Uh, establishing credit and any good financial uh, habit takes time, but the last piece of it is just be consistent. So that's number three is make sure you're paying those bills on time. Make sure you're staying up, uh, staying up to date. Um, uh, and not overspending. And over time, uh, you just consistently start to build credit. Anything good when it comes to finances cannot be done overnight. Uh, so be patient and be consistent. The easiest way for young adults to start building credit is through the proper use of a credit card. Now, what my I think of proper use is, versus what you think of proper uses is definitely going to vary, but utilizing it responsibly, understanding um, how to maximize what type of credit card you're, you're in. For starting, I have now come to the firm belief that if you use a charge card first and create that habit of knowing that whatever I spend, I have to pay it off immediately when the bill is due, or I'm going to be looking at some serious interest for not paying that bill off timely. Um, creating that habit will definitely allow for you to have a better financial habits as you get other credit cards for whatever reason, but definitely no over usage, no going over the limit, um, being conscious of why you actually need and want a credit card, those are things that are, are going to shift the way that you actually utilize the card. Tip that I would like to give on um, building credit. So I mentioned starting with a charge card, but we can go one step prior and start with a prepaid card. So if you set your, your money management plan up, to the point where you know how much money that you'll actually spend in certain categories. For example, let's just say $500 a month. I utilize that to buy groceries, eat out, shop, whatever, the dry cleaners. 
I know that that's, that's my target spending amount. So I'm putting that $500 on a prepaid card. And that way, when that money is gone, I know that I no longer have money to spend on these particular items for that month. That starts to create that habit where now once you're moving to a charge card and then a credit card, now we've already kind of indoctrinated ourselves like, hey, I spent that amount of money. The card is cut off until the next month. I remember my rookie year, I had no credit um, and I couldn't even get an apartment after I signed my first contract. Because when it comes to credit, it's basically your ability to repay uh, a loan or uh, an advance on money. So in, ter in terms of ways to build credit, you know, hopefully you can establish um, whether it's a, a secured credit card at a, minimal, um, at a minimal rate. So you can pay that over time, especially if you're a young adult or young teen. Um, we're not expecting you to have thousands, hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars, um, but it's something that where you can, you know, pay off like a short bill or sorry, a small bill. Um, other ways you can build up credit is you can put something in your name. So for example, uh, like a Netflix subscription, um, basically you want to show that you are um, trustworthy in the sense of paying, paying your bills, uh, paying uh, a loan back, uh, different things like that. And I wish I would have known that when I was uh, a rookie.